What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today we are going to be talking about why is Platinum 39's 5 fineness. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so why is Platinum 9995? No matter what type of Platinum bullion you buy, it's almost always going to be 9995. But why is that? I'm going to talk about that a little bit and explain to you my thoughts and ideas. Now, I did conduct some research trying to figure out why platinum is minted in 9995, unlike typical silver, which is minted in 9999. Almost always, you will find coins and bars in 9995 platinum. The Canadian Maple Leaf, which is known for its four nines fine silver, is also 9995 when it comes to platinum. Why is that? Well, I did research and I couldn't figure it out. Even the US Mint mints theirs in 9995. Why is that? Well, the answer is because when platinum is mined, there is such a thing called the platinum group metals. And when platinum is mined, uh, you typically do not just get platinum out of the ground. You get a little bit of the platinum group metals a lot of times. So that includes rhodium, iridium, palladium, and all those wonderful ums. <laughs> for a lack of a better word. Um, but when you do mine it, you're going to get some of those that come out of the ground. And it's near impossible to create a perfect piece of metal. So because of that, the purest that it is able to be broken down into is three nines point five. Now, does this matter when it comes to stacking? Well, seeing as though three nines point five is the purest you can get platinum bullion, I would say that pretty much all platinum bullion is the same in regards to its metal content. You are not getting anything more out of an eagle versus a maple other than the design and the country in which manufactured it through its national mint. Now, <clears throat> you can find less pure jewelry and other things of that nature. So if you are stacking jewelry, that's where purity comes, comes in much more important. Typical platinum jewelry is 950, which is about 95% platinum. Now that is the purest jewelry. The reason why platinum can be made the purest into jewelry is because of its durability. It will last the longest over time. Gold is typically made in 14 karat is about the standard. You can find it in 18 karat. There are places that even sell 24 karat, but that is very delicate, fragile jewelry that you do not want to wear at the job site because you will get it messed up. It is very soft whereas platinum is very hard. So it is very easy to make jewelry into 950, which is 95%, which is almost pure. Silver jewelry is typically what you would call sterling, and that is typically 92.5%. But platinum is 999.5, almost always in bullion, and that is because typically you will find trace amounts of the other platinum group metals, making it so that it is not realistically possible to have pure platinum, at least not in bullion form. Um, could you get it 
in 100% pure, in somewhat of a possibly powder or um, liquid form, there is a possibility for that. But again, when these coins are being made, there is also the possibility that foreign contaminants can get in and it being 0 0.5, 39 0.5, the foreign contaminants are so microscopic, they are impossible to even notice. But I presume by law, they are not allowed to advertise their coins as being 100% platinum. And that is the reason why platinum is found in 395. You could also just simply call it 39s and just leave it at that. But I presume that they add the five on there to differentiate it from its gold and silver counterparts. Um, as well as the rhodium and palladium and other platinum group metals being involved in the manufacturing process. Whereas gold and silver, when they are three nines, there typically is another number attached to it such as three nines point three. I believe the...